Okay, today, um, this is going to be fun. I love having conversations with interesting people. And truth be told, this gentleman right here is extremely interesting. Some would call him controversial. Some would call him non-traditional. Many would call him hypocritical. But I guess I'll let him speak for itself. Please welcome Pastor Thaddeus Matthews, a.k.a. the Cussing Pastor. Pastor Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you for your program. Nah, and, and, and thank you so much for your time, brother. I appreciate you. Okay, um, let, let's start with your background real quick. What, what kind of child were you? What kind of child was I? Mm -hmm. Child is so damn long, it's hard for me to tell you what kind of shit. I'm about to be 66 years old, so to tell you what kind of child I was. Now you, you're taking me way back in retrospect. Uh, I guess average, uh, average. Uh, I grew up in what is called North Memphis. Uh, my mother was 16 years old when I was born. Um, sound like Mary and Jesus, don't it? Um, I was raised by my uh, my grand aunt and my great grandmother to her passing. Uh, hell, I'm just a normal child. I was mischievous. I was managed, uh, but I was smart because they had me in books. Naturally, I was in church. In fact, church is the first place that I even remember being okay um so i when i look at my childhood i got to say that the childhood that i had was a normal childhood okay beautiful um you come from a two-parent household no i don't hell i didn't know who my daddy was till about Shit, maybe about 10 years ago. I, uh, in my household, I was raised by strong women uh, that motivated me. My auntie that I lived with and grew up with was the owner of the first uh, beauty, Black-owned beauty and supply business. That was before the, the, the Mexicans and the Koreans and all of them. Uh, came into play. I remember as a little boy having to go to all of the beauty shops in this area and over in Arkansas and Mississippi delivering uh, supplies. So I didn't even know my father's name for some years. I can remember the only time that I physically put my eyes on my father. I had to be eight or nine years old and uh, I was in TV. I was in the room watching TV. I, I never will forget it. It was a Green Hornet and Cato. So, you know, I, hell, I'm, I'm taking you back in time now. Um, and this man came to the house. And they called me out. I'm watching Cato and Green Hornet. And you called me to meet this man. And uh, he said something to me, and I was very rude to him. I don't remember now what I said, but he said he, I do remember he said, I'll whoop you. And I, I remember telling him that if you ain't been whooping me before, you damn sure ain't going to do it today. So I, uh, that's my only meeting of him. I, um, about 10 years ago, uh, I was at a place that I did business with one of my advertisers. And a guy came in and said, I'm your cousin. So you ain't no cousin, man. I don't know you. He said, uh, this, and the guy himself was my cousin too. And 
they said, he said, he's your close to your, he, your daddy. He was close to your daddy. I said, oh. I, I mean, I wasn't excited about it because as a child, I look at it now and think that maybe some things could have been different in my life had a man been there. But hell, I didn't miss nothing. So he said, your daddy died. I said, oh, oh, okay. Tell me where I'm supposed to cry, start crying at. Um, so he says, uh, I know your daddy. Your daddy was a good man. He just died. And I'm, I'm going to bring you some funeral programs by him. And I said, it's okay. So I got the funeral programs. And I looked at the you know, we always get this picture on black films programs. Mm -hmm. Yep, so yep. Was there any of me and him? Because the only question that I've ever had about a daddy or a father was how much of him was me? I know I was like my mama. I knew my mama was a great cusser. Uh, my mother was musically inclined. Uh, my mother spoke her mind. She was very bold, bold in her conversations. But I wondered what part of the D, the N, and the A was me. So I read his funeral program, and I saw that we had a lot of things in common, a lot of the same accomplishments that he had made that I, um, I, I had made in life as well. But to say that I missed a father, um, I couldn't say that I did. I, w would I be a different Thaddeus th than I am now? I can't say. Uh, because that's a part of life I'll never know. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.